Hello everyone and welcome to part 10 of our Hackerlate tutorial. In this part we're going to be talking to you about how you can use Hackerlate to generate documentation and pictures straight from your data models. Right, so this is important, right, because some of our uh, artifacts are machine-readable artifacts, right, so we've demonstrated that in the previous section of our um, tutorial here where we generate machine-readable artifacts through forward engineering. Right? But with our documentation generation capabilities, we are going to be generating human-readable artifacts, right? things that humans can understand and work with. We offer support for three standard uh, documentation generation formats, HTML, Markdown, and PDF. The content of these three formats is identical, but there are some differences. They are structured in slightly different ways. So here's how you should look at that. Um, the HTML is actually really interesting because it is a single file encapsulating all the content that you can immediately open up in, into your browser without pulling in other um, resources or other um, uh, images or something like that. You know, all of this is just baked into the HTML file. And that also means that you can, for example, easily use this HTML file for publishing on some internal website, on a SharePoint uh, site or on um, uh, Confluence, Jira uh, site, whatever it might be that you want to use. Um, you can just dump the HTML file in there and it will uh, display correctly. The second format is what we call Markdown or what is known as Markdown, right? Which is super interesting for uh, publishing on GitHub, right? Uh, you may know this already, but GitHub has standard support for Markdown. Um, for example, all the readme files in your GitHub repos are formatted this way. And that makes it very handy for uh, publishing over there. Uh, the pictures in the Markdown uh, format are placed in a subdirectory. Right, which you can then also use to generate particular other types of websites, you know, applying your own style, app applying your own look and feel, um, if you would want so to do that um, with custom website generators. And then the last format is PDF, you know, also a single file format, which is probably easier for printing and sharing um, with, with uh, some of your uh, other stakeholders. In every documentation generation capability, there are going to be some parameters, right, which you will find in uh, tools, options, and then documentation. Um, like, for example, one of the potential customizations that you can specify there is if you want to put a logo up there, right, or anything else, you know, what do you want to select, what you want to include in your documentation generation. Right, so this is an important part. You know, you will find that, especially on larger models, uh, there's quite a bit of documentation being generated. So you uh, are very often going to look at pages, hundreds of pages of documentation, which is not always necessary. You might want to be a little bit more granular and divide the documentation up into multiple parts. Right, and so you can do that by selecting the objects to be included. Um, and I would like to mention that all of this is completely automatable by using our command line interface. Right, the CLI can generate generate documentation automatically, for example, overnight when it's run inside a Docker container um, based on the model files that you would give it. There's also a possibility to print the uh, graphic diagrams that you find in Hackerlade, um, either to PDF files or PNG files, um, and there's quite a few options there as well. So let's show you this, right? So here I've got a uh, reasonably simple uh, database model for a MongoDB database. And of course, you know, I can start generating the documentation for it, right? And that means going into our menu over here and selecting the appropriate format, right? Do you want, do you want HTML? What part of the model do you want to generate documentation for? And once you submit that, Hackolate will, will ask you where you want to generate this. And then you, you will basic, basically say, you know, okay, I want to generate it over here, right? replacing that file. It will take a few seconds and then you will open up that file in the browser. Here we go. This is the file that I just generated, the data model for Acme Corporation, right? The special logo that I put up there it has, been, has been generated from our data model. I can do the same thing for PDF or for Markdown, right? Or I can also print these diagrams from this menu over here and then select, you know, what exactly is it that you want to print? Do you want to print to PDF? Do you want to um, uh, generate something uh, specific here? And last but not least, I'd like to highlight the different formats here, right? So we've got HTML, we've got PDF, 
right? And then we've got Markdown, and Markdown we haven't talked about yet or haven't shown you yet, but here you go, right? This is the Markdown format. If you open that up, you see that it's um, you know fully formed uh, Markdown, but that all of the um, images have been put into this uh, separate directory, right? So you can see how this is uh, now um, uh, also generated over here, right? The ER diagrams are put into separate files for your convenience. That's it for now. Um, I think you have got a great overview of what it is that we offer in terms of documentation generation capabilities. I invite you to read up on some of the material that we post here, the documentation, the blog, the book that we just uh, published together with uh, uh, Daniel Kupal and uh, Steve Hoberman, and obviously all of the social media that we offer out there. Thank you for paying attention. I wish you a wonderful rest of your day.